Hello my loves, welcome back to yet another bare naked face with both of us. He's bare naked face too. Yesterday something really fun showed up at my doorsteps. It says Shameless by Marc Jacobs and you know that we are all for foundations for dark skin. I've got three shades right here and it also comes with a foundation brush. I'm more of a stippling brush or a makeup sponge kind of a person so it will be really interesting to see how this kind of a flat old school brush fares and I really really hope that one of these three shades match my skin tone especially considering the fact that I've got a little bit of tan going on so let's just get started I've already got my skincare on a lot of you really like my 30 day wear test of the Charlotte Tilbury skincare which I've spoken about right here so I'm gonna be doing a 30 day wear test for all the skincare I'm gonna be trying out so I can show you the before and after results so right now I'm trying these products by wish trend and Claire's it is a very very well-known and popular skincare brand from Korea also if the light is looking a little weird that's because in my Instagram pics my makeup video boop, you guys really love my natural lighting setup so once again i've turned off all studio lights today it's just my big old huge window it's a sunny day <sighs> right so the foundation mm. introducing shameless youthful look 24 hour foundation with spf 25 oh that's amazing i've got some errands to run today so it's really good to know that it's got some spf in it because <laughs> i'm going through this really bad phase where i completely ignoring my spf Ooh, look at all these shades that they have self setting finish oh so you know what i'm not gonna be setting my makeup today invisible spf innovation mm -hmm. oh why the name shameless this is interesting inspired by mark's very own shameless attitude and his tattoo that serves as a daily reminder to strive for self-acceptance this foundation brings out the best in your skin the idea of shameless and showing your true color is being who you are and apologetic and proud one of the most important characteristics in terms of a contemporary youthful look is not that heavy sort of makeup but something that's fresh and breathes and allows radiance and the texture of the skin to come through says Marc Jacobs they have 29 shades you can use your fingers or a damp beauty sponge ready and ready but for the best results apply it with the shameless brush so we are gonna try it with the shameless brush on one side and the sponge on the other side it contains 32 milliliters of product it's available in Sephora it's plastic it's very light and very thin so it's ideal for traveling and it comes in a nice little squeezy tube kind of a thing i'm gonna start with the lightest shade that i see right here and this is medium y390 feels very liquidy inside let's see that i can't stand it down on my vanity you know i'll have to put it sideways which means the product is gonna keep flowing out so i have to put the lid on it's very light very creamy y440 tan oh i really like the packaging okay this is definitely me without a tan or is it too light oh that's a lot of overflow coming out of the bottle though i don't want to waste my product especially when it's like a Marc jacob foundation tan y470 that works for me but it's a little cool toned i feel all right you know what i'm gonna quickly go over to my instafam and ask them which foundation i should choose and 70 percent says go for two i also did my eyebrows in the meanwhile i mean we gotta make use of our time right so this is y440 i'm gonna take the Marc jacob the seamless foundation brush and oh hey that is giving me a very light natural coverage and the color is doing pretty well in real life on camera i feel like it looks a little light but of course we can contour and bring it back to my complexion oh and it's really drying really fast as well it looks like i have nothing on my face in real life and it's kind of setting pretty fast into like a powder finish so i need to work fast oh no <laughs> it's kind of setting on my forehead wait up wait up i think one light layer is gonna give you an extremely skin like finish i cannot believe how skin like it is it's at the moment i would call it like a light coverage okay it's not full coverage but let's try to build it up i'm just gonna go straight on my face right now 
this brush is really not so bad you know oh uh, okay it is leaving a little tiny streak marks blend it all before it sets my skin looks unreally <laughs> Real. If you saw me right now, you wouldn't say that I've got a foundation on even though it's like a shade lighter than my skin tone But I would give it like a medium coverage because my hyperpigmentation is still peeking through But it has a very flawless finish like I've got a few lines over here, it's not creasing there We will wear this the entire day and kind of give it like a wear test as well I can see that it has kind of set, you know, to a powder finish but without it being too dry and powdery and cakey. I'm gonna keep my hyperpigmentation as it is. I'm just gonna conceal my under eyes and contour around my face to bring back my color, make it match to my neck and everything. And our face is done. And I've got a couple of pigeons making a nest right in front of me on my windowsill. So I'm trying to be quiet. Oh, it's just so cute. Like, you know, the dad brings twig by twig and they create... Anyways, anyways, coming back to makeup. For lipsticks, I actually pulled out two of my mini Marc Jacob lipsticks in the shade Goddess and Infamous. And for mascara, I picked my Rude Cosmetics mascara that Instafam picked for my Instagram does my makeup. I actually really like the way that this mascara gets right to the base of your lashes and even gets like your corners and everything. It just is very time consuming, that's all. But it gives you very natural, non-clumpy lashes. And I am... Um, um, in loving the way my skin is looking more and more as time is going by so anyways I've got a bunch of errands to run I'm gonna take you with me let's go it's 10 33 a.m. Uh, and we apply the makeup at about 9 30 a.m. if this foundation can stay on my face through all of my errands today the foundation's got some skills 11 40 a.m. and i'm just back home and i wanted to quickly show you what my face looks like it looks pretty good at the moment uh the foundation has rubbed off a little bit right here where my sunglasses rest just a little bit not so bad either my skin still feels pretty good matte not oily that's what it looks like. I missed you. Alrighty guys, the time is 5.15 p.m. And the makeup is looking good so far. We have a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of creasing right here. Nothing that a little bit of sponge dabbing cannot fix. We have a little bit of oil seeping in through the makeup. That's just normal. We are human, but nothing a little oil sheet blotting sheet cannot fix and during this time i had my lunch i even took a nap i worked for a while i went live on instagram and the foundation is holding on to my skin for dear life it's actually looking really good and natural and even my skin feels very very breathable it doesn't feel like i have heavy makeup on which is why i could survive nine hours without washing off my makeup very like just moisturizer like you know that's cookies and they're ready i need to go and get them so i also baked cookies today all right guys it's 7 45 pm i just went to visit my nephews they are down from us and i'm so happy to see them so i've been hugging and kissing them so <laughs> This makeup has lasted a lot of things today. I also had to walk through 20 minutes of dust storm, which we're having like the shittiest weather in Kuwait today, but the makeup stayed through that as well. Definitely the foundation has faded a little bit. Not much more of creasing has happened. I've had this foundation on my face for almost 12 hours. I think 11 hours to be exact. For my needs, this works really well and i completely forgot to film an outro thank you so much for joining me today and thank you for watching my video i hope this helped you and i shall see you in my next one i love you